Hi, my name is Ariel Van Straten. I'm a photographer. And during these difficult days of the coronavirus, days of isolation, so that we can't go out, I'd like to give you some nice photographic activities that you can do in the house, activities that will develop your creativity skills and will be a lot of fun with the kids. So the first activity that I'd like to give you is an exercise that you can do that is called what is the home for me? Basically, everybody has to go around the house and take some photograph, photographs of what the home means for them. What they feel the home is. For example, for me, the home is my mother, my mother's cooking. That gives me nice and warm and hugging associations of the house. Um, that's just one example. You can photograph anything you want, basically. The whole idea is to show your inner world through your photos so that other people can get the feeling that you wanted to show and enjoy it. Um, it's a good idea to, to designate like a set time for that, like half an hour or 40 minutes. And uh, after you've done those uh, photographs, you can all meet together, maybe sit around the table, and everybody needs to choose two images, only two. These two images has, have to be the most accurate images that represent the home for you. Once you've chosen these two images, you send them to whoever is organizing the activity. They upload them to the computer, put them in a designated file for that, maybe call it home. And then you actually show the images on the computer screen or on a large monitor if you have. And when the pictures come up, the person that has taken those pictures has to talk about the pictures that he took and explain why he took them, uh, what he feels, what he felt, what he wanted to show. After he's talked about his images, then everybody else in the room can talk about what he felt from those images. Um, this is like a focusing thing. First of all, we learn for ourselves how to connect to our own images and see if what we wanted to take a picture of actually came out the way we wanted to show it to other people by the, the way other people react and for other people it's interesting for them to see our pictures and to get to know us through our pictures it's a very good way to uh, to learn how to talk about your images how to talk about other people's images if you need to give criticism don't need to give criticism it's a very bonding experience for everybody um, so that's kind of simple how the whole thing works what I what uh, tips that I want to give you about photography and, and how to concentrate is uh, actually the whole exercise is done on a cell phone the first tip that I'd like to give you is that it's always better to hold your cell phone with two hands it's much more stable and it focuses you. The minute you hold your phone with two hands, you have the screen in front of you, you can really see what is happening and control what is happening in that screen. You can use one of the button, uh, one of the, the volume buttons to take the picture. In most cameras it works that way. If not, you have to go into your settings and see what button works as the uh, shutter release. And what I would like you to do is to, to be more curious about your images, to focus, just forget about everything. Forget about what was happening, what's going to happen. Just be there and focus, be present in your screen. This is probably one of the first times that you're going to tell your kids that the screen is good. It's good for focusing, it's good for being present, it's good for taking a breather, and it's good to use it in a curious way to explore your frame. You don't have to just hold it out and take the first picture that comes to your mind. Look for the picture. Move your angles to the right or to the left. Go up or go down. Maybe shoot from above. See you know, what you like. When, when you feel that the image really responds, corresponds to what you want to show, that's when you have the right picture. Try to shoot by feeling. I know that it sounds very unnatural and very cumbersome, but this is just a matter of exercise. It's training the brain to feel. To press the button when you feel it's right, and not when you're just kind of taking a quick picture and you're not focused. I'm sure you'll get much better pictures. 
Um, I hope you enjoy this uh, activity. Feel free to tell me what you thought about the activity. You can um, send me a message. You can uh, post pictures if you want. Uh, I'll be very happy to hear what you thought about this exercise. Keep safe. Make sure every day to spend a bit of time doing something creative to keep your mind off things. It's very healthy for you. And I hope to see you soon. Thanks very much for tuning in. Bye-bye.